Hello students, welcome to Asan YouTube channel. Today we are going to study about plastids. Plastids. Plastids are double membrane organelles found in plants which are responsible for manufacturing and storing of food. Plastids are of three types chloroplast, chromoplast and leucoplast. Chloroplast are green colored plastids. Chromoplast are yellow, red or orange colored plastids and leucoplast are colorless plastids. Let us see more about chloroplast. Chloroplast are green plastids containing green pigment known as chlorophyll. These chloroplasts are oval shaped organelles consisting of envelope, stroma, thylakoids and grana. Chloroplast envelope consists of outer and inner membrane that are separated by an intermembrane space. Stroma is the matrix present inside the membrane. Stroma consists of lipids, DNA, starch and ribosomes that are required for protein synthesis. Next is thylakoids. Thylakoids consist of thylakoid membrane which encloses thylakoid lumen. Arrangement of thylakoids in the form of disc are known as grana. These grana are interconnected to each other by stroma lamellae which is also known as fret channels. Next is functions of chloroplast. Photosynthesis, storage of starch and lipids, synthesis of fatty acids etc. are some of the important functions of chloroplast. Photosynthesis is the most important function of chloroplast. It is a process by which plants utilize the energy from sunlight to synthesize their own food. During photosynthesis, carbon dioxide combines with water in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll to form carbohydrates and oxygen is released as a byproduct. Pigments involved in photosynthesis are called as photosynthetic pigments. Photosynthetic pigments are of two types, primary pigment and accessory pigment. Primary pigment contains chlorophyll A, whereas accessory pigments consist of chlorophyll B and carotenoid. The primary pigment chlorophyll A has the ability to trap solar energy and converts it into electrical energy and chemical energy and so it is also known as reaction center. The accessory pigments chlorophyll B and carotenoid pass the absorbed energy to the primary pigment chlorophyll A. Primary pigment and accessory pigments together are called photosystems. Photosynthesis occurs in green parts of the plant such as leaves, stems and floral buds. The entire process of photosynthesis takes place inside the chloroplast. Photosynthesis takes place in two steps. First is light dependent photosynthesis and the second one is light independent photosynthesis. First let us go through light dependent photosynthesis. This was discovered by Robin Hill and hence it is also known as Hill reaction. The light dependent photosynthesis takes place in thylakoid membranes of the chloroplast. During this process the photosynthetic pigments absorb light energy and convert it into chemical energy in the form of ATP and NADPH. And these ATP and NADPH move out of the thylakoid to the stroma. The second step of photosynthesis is light independent reaction. It is discovered by 
Melvin Calvin. So it is also known as Calvin cycle. Light independent photosynthesis takes place in stroma. During this process, carbon dioxide is reduced into carbohydrate with the help of ATP and NADPH generated by light dependent reactions. In summary, we can say that the light dependent reactions produces ATP and NADPH which is further used by light independent reactions to produce carbohydrates. Now let us see what are the factors affecting photosynthesis. Photosynthesis depends on internal factors such as pigments, leafage, accumulation of carbohydrates and hormones in the plant. External factors such as light, carbon dioxide, temperature, water and mineral elements also play an important role in photosynthesis. In summary, today we have learned plastids, types of plastids, chloroplast, its structure and function, photosynthesis that is light dependent and independent photosynthesis. Thank you for listening.